How to calculate quantity of cement, sand, and water in plaster work at site. Plastering is a very important activity in construction and having an appropriate mix proportion of cement, sand, and water is very important. That needs to be done to protect the surface of the wall or roof ceiling. It is a method of wrapping the blocks, walls, and ceiling with a smooth finishing. Prepare the surface properly before plastering to get a perfect finish by removing any plaster, dust, or paper. The surface should be rough enough for the plaster to adhere to smooth surfaces. A spatter dash coat should be applied to provide a textured surface. Always use a clean, rust-free plastering trowel and drinkable water wherever possible. Gradually add water and mix to an even, pasty consistency. Too much water will result in a weaker plaster. Do not try to rework by mixing in additional water when semi-dry. After the plaster has been applied and finished, it's essential to protect it from the sun and wind by covering the surface with plastic sheeting and keeping it moist for a minimum of 7 days. Tips to calculate cement and sand quantity in plaster. The requirement of plastering material cement and sand calculation in plaster of brick wall depends on mostly two factors. 1. Thickness of plaster. 6 mm thick cement plaster is used for sealing and concrete plastering. 12 mm thick cement plaster is used for internal wall plastering and the plain surface of the brick wall. 15 mm or 20 mm thick cement plaster is used for external wall plastering and the rough surface of the brick wall. 2. Mix Ratio, Cement and Sand Mix Ratio for Cement Plaster there are several types of mix ratio used for brick wall plastering, ratio of cement and sand for plastering depends on types of work and plastering types it is rough or plain surface. A recommended mix ratio of cement and sand for plastering of the plain and rough surface of the brick wall, concrete wall and ceiling are 1 is to 3, 1 is to 4, 1 is to 5 and 1 is to 6 are used. Recommended cement and sand mix ratio for plaster are following. 1 is to 3, mix ratio of cement and sand is used for plastering of external wall prone to sever climatic condition and for repairing work. This ratio is not recommended for general use at the construction site, but it can be used for waterproofing and binding. 1 is to 4, mix ratio of cement and sand is used for external brick wall plaster and ceiling plaster. 1 is to 5, mix ratio of cement and sand is used for internal brick wall plaster when fine sand is not available. 1 is to 6, mix ratio of cement and sand is used for internal wall plaster when fine sand is available. Important points for estimation. Density of cement equals 1440 kg per cubic meter. Density of sand equals 1,450 to 1,500 kg per cubic meter. Density of aggregate equals 1,450 to 1,550 kg per cubic meter. Quantity or weight of cement in one bag equals 50 kg. The volume of one bag cement in cubic meter equals 0.03472 cubic meter. The volume of one bag cement in cubic feet equals 1.226 cubic feet. Numbers of cement bags in one cubic meter equals 29 bags approximately. How many cubic feet in one cubic meter equals 35.3147 cubic feet? Example. We will calculate cement and sand for 12 mm thick plaster of ratio 1 is to 6. 1 ratio of cement and 6 ratio of sand, in the wall for 100 square meters. Area of plaster equals 100 square meters. Thickness of plaster equals 12 millimeters equals 0.012 meter. Mix ratio of plaster 1 is to 6. 
sum of ratio equals 7. Volume of plaster, wet equals area of plaster multiply thickness of plaster equals 100 multiply 0.012 is equal to 1.2 cubic meter. This is wet volume of cement mortar after mixing water. Consider 20% for joint filling, depression, and wastage. Volume of plaster wet equals 1.2 plus 20% of 1.2. Volume of plaster wet equals 1.2 plus 20 per 100 multiply 1.2 equals 1.44 cubic meter. To get dry volume consider 35% bulking of sand. Dry volume of plaster equals 1.44 plus 35% of 1.44 equals 1.44 plus 35 per 100 multiply 1.44, 1.944 cubic meter. Rather than 35% sand bulkage and 20% wastage you can add 1.54 as constant. Dry volume equals wet volume multiply 1.54. Quantity of cement. 1. Volume of cement in cubic meter equals dry volume of plaster multiply ratio of cement divided sum of total ratio. Volume of cement in cubic meter equals 1.944 multiply 1 divided 7 is equal to 0.277 cubic meter. 2. Volume of cement in kilogram equals 0.277 multiply 1440 is equal to 399.88 kilogram. We know the density of cement equals 1440 kilogram per cubic meter. 3. Number of cement bags equals 398.88 divided 50 is equal to 7.977 bags. One bag of cement contains 50 kilograms of cement. For volume of cement in cubic feet. If we multiply the number of cement bags by 1.226, we get the value in cubic feet. 7.977 multiply 1.226 equals 9.779 cubic feet. Quantity of sand. 1. Volume of sand in cubic meter equals dry volume of plaster multiply ratio of sand divided sum of total ratio. Volume of sand in cubic meter equals 1.944 multiply 6 divided 7 is equal to 1.666 cubic meter. 2. Volume of sand in cubic feet equals 1.666 times 35.3147 is equal to 58.834 cubic feet. Alternative method. Number of cement bags multiply value of one bag of cement in cubic feet multiplies ratio of sand. We know volume of one bag cement equals 1.226 cubic feet. Volume of sand in cubic feet equals 7.977 multiply 1.226 multiply 6 is equal to 58.678 cubic feet. Quantity of water. Water required equals weight of cement multiply water cement ratio. Water cement ratio equals 0.45. Water required equals 398.88 multiply 0.45 equals 179.496 liters.